Our group today is here to talk about the Bacterial Protection Program, otherwise known as shark meshing. One aspect of this is, uh, is the S SMP. Um, one, one of my colleagues is, is going to talk about the alternatives to this and the impact it has on shark species. Another, an, another colleague is going to talk about shark species, both endangered and not, and every other species that gets caught and killed in the shark meshing. Now, the Bethel Protection Program started back in 1937 to reduce the risk of shark attacks on, on Australia's most pop, pop, popular beaches. Uh, the program specifies 51 beaches were netted and wanted over, over the past 50 years. The, SM, uh, the, uh, the SMP uh, is basically a two-stage a two-stage JMA, which basically means government. Um, one, uh, one is between the Minister of Primary in Industrial and the Director General of the Department of Primary Industrial. The second is between the Director General of the DPA and the, and, and the Director General of the Minister, uh, Director General of the DPC, who is also a, and these four or this, this um, group um, associated with the management, funding, and the, and the overall effectiveness of this program, or lack thereof, if you want to say that. The SMP it uses a bottom set synthetic filament 100 to 200 metres in length, uh, 6 metres deep, which are generally parallel the uh, direction of the beach, which is anchored in 12 to 10 metres of water. The SMB includes all aspects by contractors who set, run and maintain. I like to take, I like to hand the hand, hand it over to my <laughs> Come on, take me, yeah. All right, so the shark nets are widely used over the New South Wales coast. The areas that it covers, uh, the shark nets covers are from the Hunter Valley, the Central Coast, North, Central and South Sydney and the Illawarra regions. As you can see from here, most of these areas are in favour of the shark nets with due to attacks pre and post from the shark nets. So the Central Coast is the only one where the post post netting, uh, post shark netting right, scheme actually has more attacks than the rest of them as you can see here. Uh, most of the species in which get attacked, uh, which get caught in the shark nets range from marine mammals to sharks to reptiles. Um, 32 interactions of target sharks were recorded in 2012 and 2013 reports. Uh, white sharks, tiger sharks and bull sharks are the main ones that they uh, st like stop in the shark nets, they're the target species. Um, but unfortunately most of these were killed in uh, when they got caught in the actual nets. Uh, 72 non-target species were recorded having interactions um, such as grey nurse sharks, angel sharks and eagle rays as well. Um, the same thing with the target species sharks, most of them actually were killed. There were only a few that weren't actually killed and were released back into the wild. Uh, four interactions with mammals um, or reptiles were recorded. Uh, two humpback whales were recorded, both were released, um, and two turtles were caught, but no sign of if they were yeah, alive or not at the time. 17 out of the 180 interactions were endangered species. These are like nurse sharks, humpback whales, and turtles. Um, even though the whales that were caught in uh, the nets were released, they still were tangled in the nets, so those nets were lost and the unknown face of the whales as well, being still caught up in them. Uh, old information from the ABC show that in 1972 to 1990, over 4,000 sharks have been caught in the nets and 2,000 rays, according to the Biological Conservation Journal. That is a lot. Uh, and the overall opinion on the site about those nets uh, were that the attacks um, were about 1.25 a year and that the net should be torn down. That's the overall opinion from the shark nets. Uh, and I'm going to hand it over to Bobby. Alrighty. How are you doing? 
Okay. So an alternative to the sharp mesh program that I've read about is called, called drum lines. As you can see here, a barrel is filled with polyurethane, so it floats and so people don't steal it to store things in. Uh, it's got a heavy duty chain down to a hook which has um, bait on it for sharks, usually only a little bit because they don't want to attract sharks from too far away, usually a red mullet. Um, and then that is attached to an anchor down the bottom. The shark comes in, it looks like a barracuda. Um, hmm. The shark comes in, gets the bait, gets hooked on, and there's a usually either shot and killed or they drown on the hook actually. Um, this is used in the Gold Coast. There was a scheme to use it in Western Australia, but it was quite controversial. People didn't really agree with it. There was mixed opinions and um, it got canned, so that's, that's not happening. Um, according to the conservation, an article which I read, um, there are so there were 71, I've got here, 71 fatalities from, from shark attacks. And of the 50, of, um, sorry, 50 of them, of the 71, were in the Great Barrier Reef or Moreton Bay region, which do not have shark nets or drum lines. So, yeah. And that will conclude what we've come to talk about today. Thank you.